Watch you guys got another video here for you. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore your Windows activation and also your Office activation for Windows 7, Vista and also uh, Windows Server. Now this is going to be very useful if you're an IT technician because you need to back up activations in OEM versions, SLP versions, retail and stuff like that because it can save you a lot of hassle if you can't get it to register. Okay. Now you also may need to register the product if you change hardware and uh, there's a limited amount of times you, you can actually uh, reactivate the system. So this is going to save you a lot of hassle. So let's have a look at the program we're going to be using. It's called Advanced Tokens Manager. It's called uh, from Josh Cell Softwares. You've seen me use some of his software before. Uh, he does some really good stuff and uh, this is a really useful tool for technicians. So what we're going to do here is have a look at the actual activation itself. And as you can see, it's saying the Windows is already activated and I'm going to back this up. So let's uh, go ahead and back this up. So I've got mine downloaded already. I'm going to open it up with 7-zip. Just going to drag this onto my desktop. Now from here, I'm just going to right click on here and run this as administrator. And there you can see, well you won't be able to see the key because I've blurred it out, but there's my uh, activation key that I'm going to be backing up. Okay, so what I need to do here is click on backup activation. And you'll see a little folder coming here. And this is my tokens uh, backup and you can see it inside there. And also if you wanted to do office backup, which I said you could do as well, you can actually uh, back up the office as well. Okay. Now inside here you'll see uh, the config.ini and also the tokens.dat and this is all the information that we need to keep. Okay, Now I'd advise you to keep this onto a thumb drive or a network drive or something like that off the system so if you ever have to reboot, rebuild the, the actual operating system you can just reactivate it and it's going to be very useful for technicians. So let's see how we uh, reactivate it. I'm going to get a fresh copy of Windows and show you how to do that. Okay, so here we have our uh, copy of Windows freshly installed. And uh, if I show you the actual uh, activation part, and here you can see it's not been activated yet, and we're going to activate it with our uh, backed up activation. So I've already pulled mine off of my thumb drive, and here we have our activation part. And this is what we're going to be using. So what we want to do is uh, going to right click on this and run this as administrator. Say yes to that. And it should recognize that it needs to be activated. And as you can see there it says it needs to be activated. So we're going to restore activation. Okay so we have some success now. It says done backing up and it has been restored. Now remember we're not cracking Windows here, what we're doing is putting our saved activation back into Windows, okay, so we're not cracking it or anything like that, we're actually just backing up and restoring our activation. So I'm going to close this off and have a look at Windows. So we'll come up to my computer again, and as you can see Windows is now been activated back with our previous activated uh, that we backed up. Okay. Now this is a very useful tool. As I said, if you're an IT technician, it's going to save you a lot of hassle and time. Uh, please use it sensibly. Don't use it for illegal purposes. It's meant to be a backing up of uh, your legitimate license that you have. Okay. So I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, please remember hit that subscribe button. And show your support and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and i'll be making more videos again in the future so if you've got any more video requests send me a message and i'll do my best to make that video for you thanks again for watching guys bye for now